So this is to clarify how to use markers to make matched action edits. So I'll show you how to do that with these two clips. I have a clip of this uh, duet piano piece here. I want to be able to take this second clip, which is a tight shot, and match it to the shot over here where they start playing a little little riff. Let me let's hear that riff first. Go back up a little bit. I want to match that. So I need to make a marker here in the sequence first. So let's try that. I'll put the marker right there. I it'll put it up. To put a marker here in the sequence, you can just click this little marker icon here or press the asterisk key on the number keypad. So there's the marker and it shows up there in the sequence. And now I want to put a marker in the clip not on the sequence, because I want to move this clip to line the, its marker up with that marker. So I'm going to open up the clip inside the source monitor. To do that, I can just double click it here, or I can double click it over here. If it wasn't already here in the timeline or in the sequence, I'd eventually want to get it here. But as long as it's here now, I'll just double click it here, and there we have it. So let me, I need to line up that little spot where she starts going. <laughs> matches that same little three note. Put it up. Now I can put a marker here. And again, with this panel, this uh, source monitor active, you can tell it's active because of the orange line around it, I can press the asterisk key on the numeric keypad to add a marker, or I can click right there. And now it adds a marker. And you can't see the marker. It's behind the current time indicator. But when the current time indicator is on a marker that shows up up here, it says, look, you're on the marker. If I move it away, You'll see the marker and that thing will go away. If I want to return exactly to the marker, I can just uh, right click and say go to clip marker previous. Now it goes back to it and there's that little marker again. And also now that I've added the marker, it shows up down here in the clip, which is what we wanted. We wanted the marker in the clip, not up here in the sequence. Okay, now I want to line this marker up with this marker over here. Now what I didn't show you in class and what I'll show you now is a little trick to uh, make it a little bit easier, you want to snap these markers together. And I'll show you the trick in a second. Let me show you the, the sort of standard way of doing it. I'm moving these guys out of the way of the uh, video one and audio one so that when I move them, they won't step on them. And if I just move it over like that, it'll snap when it gets to the beginning of the clip. But I want it to snap when it gets to the marker. But it's hard to see the marker here right now. It's hidden as I move it. So if I even I expand the view, and I drag it. There's the marker down there. When I drag it, it sort of disappears. So you're not really sure if you're lining the marker up or not. I mean, I know I am, but just sometimes you're not really sure. Right there it is lined up, but just in case you're not totally sure, go back and drag the, 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 the endpoint or trim the clip from the endpoint to the marker. It'll snap to the marker like that. So now you know the endpoint of this clip is at its marker. So when I drag it over to the marker, it'll snap not only the beginning of the clip there, but it'll snap at the marker. Now I can extend it again if I want to. Now let's see if these guys line up. We'll have two, we'll have two sets of audio playing here, so I want to turn off the audio for this track down here by clicking that icon to turn it off, and we'll see if the hands match the uh, playing there. Pretty good. That's close enough for this demo. And obviously we don't want to have our hands sort of hovering there while we're waiting, because obviously I, I shot this you know, using, you know, shot it twice, shot once with the original and then told her to go back and play that little riff. So we'll trim to the point where she just, just before she begins to play, use the arrow key to arrow over, and then just there she's going to be moving her hand over. So that's where we'll trim to it and see if we can match that. And we'll go back one frame and see how close that's going to be. Good, that'll be great, because it goes from that to that. So let's just play this and see how it works. Bingo. So that is how you make a matched action edit using markers.